What's going on guys, Tiger here and I have NCAA 13 Nevada Dynasty coming at you guys and this is just some recruiting, I just decided to show some recruiting because I didn't know how much recruiting you guys wanted to see really because recruiting does take a good 15-20 minutes so I couldn't put like the whole recruiting session I did right before this game so I just put in a couple of minutes, tell me how much recruiting do you guys want to see, do you guys want to see a lot of recruiting this is just like I think like three or four minutes of recruiting I think and I just wanted to show you guys how tough it is to recruit with Nevada because it's not easy I I have another dynasty that I'm doing that in Michigan that I'm not recording or doing anything with YouTube and it's so much easier to recruit because everything is A pluses and you see here there's all D pluses D pluses like across the board and some C's so it's really hard to recruit my Michigan series it's really easy since everything's in A. So, and you see here all C's. But this guy I really wants this strong safety because just because he's six foot seven, if you see, and it's hard to it's hard because I'm getting zero interest gain from him. You see, it's gonna be hard trying to pull him away from other schools like Notre Dame, Purdue, that he's also looking at. So yeah, guys. Also, I just joined Blink for this online dynasty, and I do have Michigan in that, and I cannot wait to show you guys some of that gameplay I will be uploading that as well and it, on my schedule I believe I'm versing and they call me Kuda if you guys don't know him he's a good youtuber up and coming too just like me but he's way bigger <laughs> not as fan which I know a lot of you guys know not as fan um well some point uh, gamer 360 sports I'm playing him and I believe I'm playing someone else you know I'm playing oh lumberjack and he, he puts up a lot of NBA stuff. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. And this is our first game of the season. We did have a bye week the first week, so this is actually week two. And this is against Texas A&M. And I made sure to put this game on our schedule for one reason and one reason only. Because if you guys missed my last Tim Tebow Heisman Challenge, we did go against Texas A&M. And I did lose to them in double overtime. I'll put an annotation up on the screen, actually. So you guys can go check it out if you didn't. But yeah, we did lose a heartbreaker to Texas A&M. And I want to get them back, basically. I want to just show, beat this team because that, that really was a close, close game against in that Tim Tebow Heisman Challenge. So it would be nice if I can get them back with Nevada. But... Yeah, this is my first game with Nevada. This is my first game using the pistol offense. So they run out this pistol. And I usually use teams that use the pro style offense or the spread offense. Those are two of the offense that I use. So using the pistol, this is kind of weird. But I'm also playing this on Heisman difficulty, but I'm using servers that Blinkfro actually gave me from Operation Sports. So I'll leave the link to the sliders in the description. And also, guys, can you please leave this video a like right now? I just want to see how many people are like watching this series, how many people enjoy this. So yeah, just leave a link, right? Uh, oh, a link, <laughs> a like right now on this video. It helps me out so much. Yeah, we're gonna jump right into the action. Nevada has a ball. I don't really know the names. I know the quarterback's name is some. Yeah, the, I, I'll just call him Cody. But you see here, first play of the game, we hand it off to our running back, Stefan. Jefferson, I believe, and he breaks it off huge. He got nice blocks there. But the weakest part of Nevada actually is their offensive line. So their receiving core is decent. Halfbacks are decent. Um, defensive backs are decent, I guess. The only weak part I can find is their offensive line. So I'll just call a, a quarterback um, Cody. That's his first name. I don't know. If his second name is like, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but yeah, Cody dropped back to pass him right after just getting that huge run. He throws an interception. I throw an interception, actually. So, yeah. Oh, one thing I wanted to say about this game, Texas A&M, I don't know if this is for a lot of teams. We just hit showers with a sack right there, but I don't know if <clears throat> this is just for me, but against this team, they ran hurry up offense the whole time. Now, I don't know if they... Texas A&M runs hurry up offense in real life since I don't really watch the college football, but they practically ran that the whole game. But yeah, after that sack, he went three and out, and we have the ball back. And you see here, we had our tight end coming across the middle. I like throwing the ball to our tight end a lot. So, yeah, coming into action, 
when we're setting up like a screen pass right here and we hit a screen pass right now to our wide receiver number 83 and he gets an end zone so we hit our first touchdown of the season you see there the band's playing we are hyped up in Nevada right now I'm happy to um, get the first points on the board even after throwing that interception we stopped Texas A&M and yeah Texas A&M does do a lot of hurry up offense please tell me if you guys watch college football and know if Texas a and plays like that in real life, but they go for it on fourth down. They hurry up offense a lot. So it was kind of difficult for me because I want to play some, some football. But, yeah, look, Showers got demolished right there. Just a whole bunch of blue jerseys surrounded him and just got killed. And you see the studio update right here. I don't really pay attention to these. Real. I just want to include it just so if you guys haven't seen it yet. Yeah, after getting sacked, it was second and forever, second and 22, actually, Showers, and Showers brought back the pass, and this is practically what he did all game. He, oh, just that, had their game with the face masks, I don't know why, our linebacker or safety, I don't know who it was, uh, our middle linebacker um, pulled the face mask, so that's an automatic first down. But this is all they did all game. Hurry up offense and just run it. Run it, run it, run it. The quarterback with the halfback, they rarely pass it. But you see here, Shower drops back to pass, and he did hit his wide receiver right there. So they are having a pretty good drive right here. And you see here, the no huddle. No huddle offense. Let's hurry up, hurry up. It, it did throw my game off a little bit, but I don't know. It's not something I'm really used to. And you see here, Shower's is comes out running again and he gets into oh he doesn't get into end zone he gets stopped at like the one yard line but hurry up again no huddle offense right here so it's putting me on my heels basically I only have a few seconds to pick a play so it is kind of difficult and you see here he ends the ball to his running back and he dives into end zone so they quickly answer back from our touchdown and their touchdown so after we go three and out they get the ball back Opening up the second quarter, and they have four wide receivers out. Showers drops back to pass, and he throws, and he hits his wide receiver going up out of bounds. And no huddle offense right here. If that was the NFL, by the way, that would have been um, out of bounds. So I'm not really a big fan of this one foot in bounds rule. But yeah, Showers hits this play action pass, and that gets picked off right there. Our safety doing work. He's trying to return this for a touchdown. Pick six, kind of, but he gets stopped. No, oh, that's actually our cornerback, actually. Excuse me, number 22. So that was a really good pick right there. We really needed that after they just got a touchdown. So we're, we're set up with amazing field position right here. And this is something that I was really excited about. Playing at CAA, look at this. The option play, it completely tricked out the defender. And... The option is not in Madden, and this is my first year getting NCAA in a long time. So, this is something I was really excited about using the option play, and it worked to our advantage right there. So, 14 to 7, and Chow drops all the way back. He ends up fumbling the ball. I don't know what he was doing, but hey, yeah, I could have easily picked it up and picked up that fumble recovery, but I accidentally fell down to see your showers just got hit and they're back he actually gets injured on that play so their backup quarterback comes out and this backup did play a lot in this game but he's still he's even getting hit we're just sacking their offensive line is not doing a good job of protecting their quarterback because one quarterback just got hurt and another one's already first play in the game he already got hit and mosh so we get the ball back, but we're we're in a third and thirteen situation. Cody um, making some changes at the line. He drops back to pass, and he throws the ball deep to Bradley, who was a huge part of this game. Wide receiver Bradley, he did work in this game. So, but we're in a third and seven situation, and we hit Bradley coming across my own slant route. So, yeah, we're getting a nice little lead right here. And you see here they're firing off the cannon. I didn't know the bottom of the fire soft cannon to it. Yeah. We we add on to our lead right now. So it is twenty one to seven in this game. Bradley is a huge part in this game, you guys will see later on. But yeah, Shallow returns to the game. 
he was just injured for a little bit, nothing long term, but he's still scrambling out the pocket and he takes a big hit right there and he gets injured yet yeah, again. This guy was like in and out of the game, in and out of the game, he keeps getting injured and yeah, it's dangerous for scrambling quarterbacks. They can easily get injured and he got popped right there. But they end up attacking on the field goal on that drive. So but they leave us with two seconds in this game and you know with two seconds doesn't our wide receivers are really special so we can make something up. And so Cody dropped back the pass. He throws the ball deep. Their defensive backs don't have any speed and yeah, Bradley with his second touchdown of the game. He comes up clutch right there. It's a very clutch play. I didn't expect to get a touchdown on that play. I just usually go deep when there's little time in the game. So Bradley gets another touchdown, number 81. Remember that number you'll be seeing a lot in this video. And he dives into the end zone. So we take the 28-10 to 10 lead right now. And we get the ball back. And we hand it off to Jefferson. You guys actually didn't know this, but I actually run the ball a decent amount. You see nine rushes for 71 yards. I actually run the ball a decent amounts, But I cut out the little runs like the one-yard gain or the two-yard gains. So I cut that out. See here, we end up throwing an interception. That's a that's a costly turn right there. There's no one around him, and he just walks into the end zone right there at cornerback. He read the pass perfectly, and they have, they cut they cut the lead down. So it's twenty eight to seven right now, and their backup quarterback is in the game, and he hits his wide receiver in number seven. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that name, and he gets a huge gain on that play right now. So they're working up the field and they're still running this no huddle offense, no huddle offense. So their their quarterback's a little bit slow to get back to the line. It seems like the quarterback's always like the last the person at the line. But yeah, this the backup quarterback, he even thinks he he's a scrambler. So yeah, he gets a couple good blocks and he ends up working his way up to first and goal. So I don't know what I was doing. I should have looked like a QB spy, but. I wasn't really thinking since they uh, they were running a lot of no no huddle. It was hard for me to look for the QB spot play where it would be at since I don't have much time to get plays. And you see here, they hit it. They hit their receiver right there. So they are coming back. They were down ten to twenty eight. And now it's twenty four to twenty eight. So we got to do something. And we end up going three and out. So we have to punt the ball away. And their backup quarterback is still in. And he hits his wide receiver. He makes a cut right there. What a cut. Now, I'm not really a big fan of the Jukes and the cuts in this game. But, yeah, that cut just got them a touchdown. So, they quickly, quickly got the lead. And I really don't believe this is the longest pass in NCAA history. I can't believe that. But yeah. the They just came back. I don't even know how many unanswered points they got. But they are down to 10 to 28. And they are winning 31 to 28. And, yeah, just like I said in the beginning of the video, guys, Nevada's only bad part, I believe, is their offensive line, and it's showing, and it's going to show late in this game, their offensive line cannot do anything, and you see here, we drop the pass, our tight end, I believe, drops the pass right there, so nothing is going right in the second half of the game right now, our offensive line is not holding up to, holding on to your blocks, our receivers are dropping the ball, so it's not going good to we're just going to do Hail Mary right now going deep. Cody drops back the pass and he ends up getting sacked. Four hurries and four sacks. The pressure on our quarterback is just terrible. So yeah, the back of the quarterback is still in for Texas A&M. He ends up off to his running back and that's just really bad usering on my part really. And they just add on to this lead. Oh my god, I don't know how many amounts of points this is. Yeah, we get the ball back and we get sacked yet again. I don't know what I was doing and trying to hit that screen pass right there. But we get hit right there. So, but we end up getting the ball back. They end up not tacking on any points. And Cody Buck back to pass and he hits Bradley on this play wide open. Search in to get ready for a game. Back but I don't know if there's any offensive Bradley coordinator in the country that ever expects to have this kind of success. This guy deserves a raise. And for Bradley, he's had a great game catching the ball. Well, Brad, he really has, and he's got the hot hand. And let's give some credit to the offensive coordinator because he's smart enough to get the football to him and allow him to make these plays that's helping this offense out. When one of your receivers can average 20 yards a catch, your offense is doing something right. He'll have to keep up this performance. These guys sure could use another boost. When one of your receivers can average 20 yards a catch,
your offense is doing something right. He'll have to keep up this performance. These guys sure could use another boost. So you see there, Bradley's basically putting the team on his back, and we are trying to come back in this game right now. So Cody drops back to pass, and he gets sacked. And yeah, we did go for the onside kick before, and we did get it because I just felt like we had the momentum on our side, so we need to capitalize at that moment. So after getting sacked at second and 17, we're just doing another four verts because that seems like the only thing that's working. And while Bradley's found wide open, there is no one within like 10 yards from him wide open right there. And I think that's his fourth touchdown of the day right now. It's just crazy. And we just take the lead right now after getting shot out for most of, most of the game. And you see here, Texas a and continuing to run heavy offense they call a timeout less than a minute left in this game their offense i don't know what i was doing i should have gotten qb spy i know i know i know but they gave me like no time to look for a play because of this no huddle offense so shadow dropped back to pass really far and he hits a screen pass with his running back he gets nice blocks and he ends up getting brought down so 46 seconds left in the game. They're continuing with this no-auto offense. Our defensive backs are tired. Our safety tired. Our cornerbacks are tired. Everybody's just tired in this game. It seems like because they're not. They're getting burnt badly, badly. But not as not as burnt as what Bradley was doing to Texas A&M defensive backs. But yeah, they find themselves in a first and goal. So Shadows dropped back to pass, and he hits his open receiver right there. So. They take the lead right now, and now we have to do something. Now, 20 seconds left in the game. We got to go and get a touchdown. Can we hit Bradley? Will Bradley come up in the clutch? You see there, the safety does play a little bit farther than usual, and you see if we get sacked, our offensive line is, it just seems like they're giving up right now. They're, they don't want to play anymore. They're giving up. You see here, we get sacked again. It's just, I don't know if I'm holding on to the ball too long or it's me or it's an offensive line or I don't know what. It just seems like the second half is not going our way at all. We just keep getting sacked after sack, sack so forth and forever. We have to do a prayer right now. So we just throw the ball as far as we can and that goes nowhere. And then yeah, Texas a and Texas a and beat me in my Tim Tebow in the thriller and they beat me in and my Nevada in a thriller so that I'm two and uh, I'm oh and two actually oh and two and against Texas a and in this game they beat me with Tim Tebow and they beat me with oh, I'm Nevada so in close games too close exciting games it seems like this team is my kryptonite though so I gotta get this monkey off my back I gotta beat this team so I'll be seeing them again in something they beat me in Heisman Challenge they beat me in